If you found this video enjoyable, please leave a like and hell, even subscribe if you want to. It only takes two clicks and push that notification bell just to get the messages for my videos. That would be greatly appreciated. So I'm going to provide some context before this video starts. I talk about stands and hype stands up way too much personally. Now, don't get me wrong. I like stands as much as the next guy, but I think we always have to take a look back at the classics and the classic we'll be looking at today is cars and the pillarman in hindsight of all the power scaling i've done on my channel i've never brought up the pillarman once ever which is really weird cars and its respective pillarman are all freakishly powerful and genuinely do need their own video on them so this is of course that video intro aside let's just jump right into it so to set up cars for the later half of this video i have to talk about the pillarman before because in all honesty all the pillarman are all kind of relativistically kind of almost all the same in terms of base strength excluding santana but this is where we're going to start his fight with joseph basically shows that all pillarmen are definitely stronger than all vampires verbatim like that's not even debatable and if for whatever reason you want to debate it there's the food chain panel which basically says that vampires are literally just prey for pillarmen so there you go santana shows some abilities that all evolved pillarmen share that being hyper intelligence and super body manipulation santana is able to figure out the entire english language within a few sentences and has been shown to manipulate his body in very unique ways to the point where he can just phase through lower life forms effortlessly or passively with this intro fight alone in part two you can basically scale it off of anything part one deal did due to the food chain panel and say that all pillarmen regardless of age are stronger than part one characters so that would put them all in the low ball park of being building level at bare minimum and why i brought up age earlier is because well santana is young he's inexperienced and doesn't actually know how to use his full powers yet quoted from cars himself alluding to the fact that the three pillarmen that we know in part two are stronger than santana by a lot hell even when they actually finally get released onto the world their presence alone and the air pressure they create actually damages caesar so you know there you go hell later in that fight it's actually shown thanks to their body manipulation they can completely destroy stone pillars eat dynamite and just overall just outthink their opponents pretty casually hell even wamu was actually kind of shit talking caesar and joseph through both of their fights and even when joseph damages wamu wamu just instantly heals yet again showing that their body manipulation is on a completely different level hell even after that they start to play a game with joseph and while that's happening cars is just patiently waiting as he is a warrior like the rest of them but he's more intelligent and just kind of says yeah i get it you guys like to have fun but we got a job here to do showing that he is kind of more or less the leader of the group and probably is the strongest quote unquote and the only weaknesses they do end up having are natural ultraviolet light and the ripple so yeah the base pillar men are kind of fucking cracked i'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all here they're probably taking out majority of the jojo cast without any of their advanced abilities or modes so yeah they are pretty terrifying and the only thing notable after their awakening instead of their individual modes is that acdc is able to survive literally just being a brain and taking over bodies and assuming that all pillarmen have this ability this would also be assumed for cars and wamu with the basic overview of the pillarmen done let's just jump right into cars himself stated in his backstory cars can be assumed Presumably one of the smarter pillarmen ever to exist and wanting to overcome the fear of the sun he makes the stone masks unlocking some of his hidden potential eventually becoming an evolved pillarman but his race would see this as disgraceful or just kind of overall taboo and try to kill him but on that same night with the help of acdc he would slaughter his entire race only leaving two behind wamu and santana now he searches for the stone of aja to become the perfect life form within his own solo chapters cars actually shows a lot of his abilities off one of the more unique ones is cars is actually able to feel out the life signatures of other beings by simply touching a wall he's able to feel out where these creatures are within a room and give their height just by feeling their body heat soon after this stroheim would show up and actually try to challenge cars he would of course show off his machine gun and start waving it about but cars would of course tank the shots soon after that he would display his mode light mode now if you're an avid viewer of the channel this is probably where you're going to assume where i debate that cars is light speed and i'm actually not this time around it's actually clearly stated that the blade is moving at possibly near light speed thanks to Stroheim overreacting and not Cars in and of himself. But if you were to believe Cars and the blade are one being, so regardless that it's its own individual thing, that would mean that he is possibly near light speeds. But it's kind of a weak argument, so I wouldn't use it to debate. But there are, you know, light speed statements and scaling further on in this part, so it really doesn't matter in the long run. Funny enough, Stroheim eventually uses his laser eye beam, the ultraviolet light, to attack cars and cars reacts to it and kind of tries to block it but since you know it's 
super effective against him. It clearly goes through him, but literally like the next page over, he's shown to react to light. So of course he is light speed now, which is really funny in retrospective, but yeah. For the rest of that fight, Cars is literally in control of it, mopping the floor with both Joseph and Stroheim and only being truly beat by Joseph because he is a quick thinker and he does have a bit of luck on his side. Hell, you can probably even say with earlier statements of him wanting a challenge, but he kind of wants to be serious and try to find the red stone that actually he kind of wanted just to play around with Stroheim and Joseph. So he probably wasn't even going all out in retrospective. In the Wamu and Caesar fight, Wamu actually kind of states that if it was reversed and Wamu and Car switched places, Cars would have fought Caesar and ended up more wounded, but still would have won. And in that fight, there was a lot of light being thrown around, meaning that there is possibly yet again another light speed statement here, proving the point that Cars is kind of holding back against Joseph and Stroheim, which is weird because later in a Wamu flashback, Cars is shown to be ruthless and not warrior-like at all, which is then consistent because when he fights Lisa Lisa, he's playing dirty. Like, I'm gonna be honest here, Cars within character does not care about being a warrior, being prideful. He is only here to win. He will use undermined tactics to beat his opponent, and surprisingly enough, within the world of JoJo, since everything is a one-on-one -on -one fight, this actually gives him a severe advantage over everybody else. Cars is a creature that wants to achieve his goals, and if the means are dirty, so be it. Heck, he even fights Joseph when he's weak just to prove a point over him. Yet again, he loses because Joseph is a smartass and actually outsmarts him, but you know, at least it's still in character for him to just be like, yeah, I'm gonna try to outsmart you and beat you just because I can. So base cars is extremely powerful, being stronger than every vampire in the series verbatim, probably being one of the strongest pillarmen, maybe second or tied with Wamu, not having a warrior's pride and just overall trying to beat said person that is trying to challenge him in any way possible, and at bare minimum being as fast as light and maxing out AP wise at large building level, but that possibly could go higher. So the part we've all been waiting for, ultimate cars. So during the ending of part two, Stroheim tries to help out Joseph, but in the process actually ends up helping cars instead by sheer accident. Cars now has the power to replicate anything in the animal kingdom and is no longer weakened to the sun's rays. He has now reached the apex of life itself, having the power to freely manipulate his body into anything on planet earth, going back 900 million years. He has now every power in the animal kingdom up to their maximum apex. Cars has reached such a level at this point that he has no weaknesses whatsoever that are of course on earth. He is able to freely control anything that was a part of him that is now off of his body. Example here, when Joseph was in the plane, the armadillo plates that came off of his body would eventually turn into piranhas that eventually would turn into octopuses and destroy said plane while resembling a bird in air. Joseph would then try to use a volcano to defeat Cars, but surprisingly enough, thanks to Cars' literal 400 IQ, he would outsmart Joseph by making shell armor with air within them, giving him moments to survive within lava itself. And just to twist the knife further, Cars now also has the ability to replicate the ripple and magnify it over a hundred times more than Joseph's, and would only be defeated by luck and instinct and a big ass volcano launching him into space, where no creature on the planet could survive, except probably for maybe one, but you know, space and gravity are a bitch. So yeah, Cars loses. So how do we scale ultimate Cars? Well, First thing, I am not a biologist, so I'm going to state that now for the record. But having the entire animal kingdom present and past within your DNA is kind of crazy and insane. Cars now has the entire animal kingdom's abilities within his DNA, so this basically means he can really truly do anything he wants now. He is literally unstoppable, an unmovable force. He now can replicate an elephant's strength a hundred times over. He can survive in the deepest parts of the sea. He doesn't even need to breathe realistically now. He can now eat through photosynthesis. Now he can see in different light spectrums now. So on and so forth. He can even live in any environment thanks to the water bear. Like, Cars is a unstoppable, like, I can't even put into words how strong he is now. He's just basically a god now. I can't really put it into any other words to describe Cars. He is literally a god. Any animal power you can think of, Cars can do it and replicate it better. By definition now, thanks to the whole Hamon feat, is 
that now he is a literal born prodigy. He can now do anything and just do it a hundred times over. Like it's insane what he can do now, dude. Like there are so many animals that have ever existed on this planet that now he just can do. Like imagine him, I don't know, having the strength of a brontosaurus within his fist. Like, dude, that's insane. Now on top of that, I totally forgot about this. He can now just, you know, freely control creatures that are not attached to his body. He can do mitosis. Holy shit. He can replicate himself now. What the fuck? The more I think about it, he now has everything. His kit is insane now, dude. He's biologically immortal. He has now poison resistances. He can now live in the most extreme environments on the planet like Antarctica. Like, dude, it's, it's wild how powerful he is now in retrospective. Wow, dude. I'm now, this is totally off script, but Jesus, dude. And personally, the most terrifying ability I think he now has is his 400 IQ. He has the ability now to combine animal powers to make basically new ones at this point. And just now he's just hyper intelligent, dude. Like cars is a God. Like I said previously, there's just, he's unimaginably powerful now. He's just, he's ridiculously powerful. Thanks to the Pillarman abilities. And now this, he's basically nigh undefeatable. The only thing that's going to defeat him now is by literally just instantly destroying him. And only a few characters with inverse can even do that off the top of my head. I think it's the hand D4C, um, vanilla ice, maybe, um, Wonder Review and uh, Gold Experience Requiem, but like that's like five out of everybody in the verse, dude. That's like 99.9% point like nine percent of them. Like that's wild, bro. And I totally forgot about the stands with the spin. So what? Uh, Soft and wet go beyond and Tusk Act Four too. But like what? Seven, six stands can defeat him. Like it's insane. And speaking about stands, could he gain one? Yeah, possibly. The meteorite that eventually would make stands with the virus contained on top of that meteorite did originate from space. But since the virus had to adapt to the Earth-like climates, there might be a case where cars might not be able to do it. But maybe if he got like a blood sample or something like that, it's possible. But that. That is pretty headcanon on my part. So take that with a grain of salt. But imagine if he did gain a stand, the stand would then eventually reach its apex thanks to Cars' abilities. So then that what that stand would be a Requiem or a heaven made stand like off the bat, like maybe hypothetically speaking now kind of speaking it out loud, but like, holy shit, dude, Cars is, Cars is cracked. I'm not even, it's, it's kind of dumb now in retrospective, just kind of analyzing him at this peak because he's basically unstoppable and lost on a fluke. So to regain my composure and just kind of talk um cars at this point is one of the strongest characters in the series i'd probably say top five he's only being beat by you know the stands that can literally one shot him so yeah cars is cars is a monster overall ultimate cars is just insane everything in his kit's wild at this point unstoppable undefeatable well that's going to be the end of the video like comment share subscribe follow me on twitter stay hydrated see you in the next one ladies and gentlemen